Never buy a Chinese AI chip thinking it's just a cheap knockoff. What's really happening behind the scenes could flip the entire tech world upside down. So here's the deal. For decades, America owned tech. Silicon Valley was untouchable. But right now, China is doing something that has NVIDIA's CEO literally warning the US to compete for its survival. We're talking about a chip war that could decide who controls artificial intelligence, who leads the robotics revolution, and honestly, who shapes the next 50 years of technology. By the end of this video, you'll understand why a country that was supposed to be years behind is now being called nanoseconds away from matching American tech giants. And trust me, the way they're doing it is not what anyone expected. Let's rewind to 2024. Out of nowhere, a Chinese startup called DeepSeek drops an AI model that rivals ChatGPT. But here's the crazy part. They did it with way less money, way fewer high-end chips, and they still matched what OpenAI was doing. Think about that for a second. OpenAI spent hundreds of millions training their models. DeepSeek comes along and does it on a budget. When they announced this, Nvidia's stock temporarily tanked. We're talking billions of dollars wiped out because investors suddenly realized China wasn't playing catch up anymore. They were actually innovating. And this wasn't just one lucky break. This was a signal, a warning shot that China's tech sector had figured something out that Silicon Valley missed. Fast forward to this year and things get even more interesting. Alibaba, one of China's biggest tech companies, announces a new chip. According to Chinese state media, this chip matches Nvidia's H20 semiconductors but uses less energy. Now, H20s are already the scaled down versions Nvidia sells to China because of US export restrictions. So Alibaba is basically saying they can match restricted American tech while being more efficient. Then Huawei enters the chat. They unveil what they call their most powerful chips ever and announce a three year plan to challenge Nvidia's dominance. But here's where it gets strategic. Huawei makes their designs and computer programs available to the public in China for free. Why? To pull Chinese companies away from American products and build an entire ecosystem that doesn't need the West at all. And it's working. Companies are lining up. Meta X is supplying advanced chips to China Unicom, a massive state-owned telecom operator. Cambricon Technologies, based in Beijing, has seen its stock price more than double in three months as investors bet on China's homegrown chip push. Even Tencent, the company behind WeChat with over a billion users, is switching to Chinese chips. The message from Beijing is clear. Use local tech, build local supply chains, stop depending on America. Now before we get carried away, let's pump the brakes for a second. Are Chinese chips actually as good as they claim? According to computer scientist Jawad Haj Yahya, who's actually tested both American and Chinese chips, the answer is complicated. Chinese semiconductors perform pretty well in predictive AI. That's the stuff that guesses what you want to type next or recommends videos. But when it comes to complex analytics, the kind of deep thinking AI that requires massive computing power, they fall short. The gap is real, and while it's shrinking, experts say China won't catch up in the short term. There's also another problem. Data. A lot of these announcements from Chinese companies lack publicly available testing data and consistent benchmarks. Translation. We have to take some of these claims with a grain of salt because we can't independently verify everything they're saying. And then there's the user experience issue. Even computing professor Chia Lin Yang from National Taiwan University points out that Chinese chips can be less user friendly than Nvidia's products. The software, the tools, the whole developer experience still leans heavily toward Western tech. But here's what you can't ignore. China has an absolutely massive pool of skilled engineers and programmers. Professor Yang herself says you cannot underestimate China's ability to catch up. And she's right. Let's talk about the bigger picture. President Xi Jinping has made it crystal clear that China needs to become self-reliant. He's even said China won't depend on anyone's gifts. This isn't just about pride. This is strategy. For years, China has invested tens of billions of dollars into what she calls high quality development that covers everything from renewable energy to artificial intelligence to advanced manufacturing. 
The goal, transform China from being the world's factory for cheap stuff into the world's leader in cutting edge technology. And then Donald Trump came back to the White House and the tariff war kicked into overdrive. That made China's mission even more urgent. If America is going to restrict exports and limit what technology China can buy, then Beijing has no choice but to build it themselves. Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's CEO, actually warned about this. He said, if the US doesn't trade freely with China, it risks handing China the edge in the AI race. Because when you block someone from buying your product, they're forced to innovate. And that's exactly what's happening. China even launched an anti-monopoly probe into NVIDIA last month. Some experts think this is Beijing applying pressure, using the investigation as leverage in negotiations. The message, either sell us your advanced equipment or risk losing access to our massive market. So where does this leave us? Semiconductor engineer Raghavendra Anjanapa puts it bluntly. China still needs access to high-end American technology for its most advanced projects. Right now, China can reduce its dependence on American chips for less advanced tools, but it doesn't have the raw performance of US chips to train the most complex AI systems. The US has hit China exactly where its dependency is deepest, export restrictions, blocking access to high-end NVIDIA chips, limiting the machinery needed to manufacture the most advanced semiconductors, its economic warfare through technology. But here's the kicker. Multiple experts agree that China might only need five more years to become independent from the US. Five years. That's not a long time in the grand scheme of things. China still lacks the highly developed supply chains that the US, South Korea and Taiwan have built over decades. You can't just snap your fingers and create that infrastructure overnight. But China is throwing money, talent and government backing at the problem like never before. There's also something Professor Yang mentioned that's worth thinking about. China's state-led approach can be both a strength and a weakness. When everyone focuses on a shared goal, you get incredible coordination and speed. But it can also make it harder for truly disruptive ideas to break through. Innovation sometimes comes from chaos, from startups doing weird things that don't make sense until suddenly they do. This isn't just a story about chips and computers. This is about who controls the future. Artificial intelligence will power everything from self-driving cars to medical diagnostics to military systems. Whoever leads in AI chips leads in AI, and whoever leads in AI will shape the 21st century. Right now, we're watching two superpowers race toward the same finish line using completely different strategies. America has decades of established technology, a massive head start, and companies like Nvidia that are light years ahead in certain areas. But America is also trying to run this race while simultaneously blocking its competitor from getting the same tools. China has the weight of an entire government behind its efforts, a massive talent pool, a willingness to spend whatever it takes, and the urgency that comes from being cut off from the best American tech. They're innovating out of necessity. Jensen Huang said China's tech sector is vibrant, entrepreneurial and modern. He credited their hardworking talent pool, intense domestic competition and progress in chip making. And remember, this is the CEO of the company China is trying to dethrone. Even he's impressed. The question isn't really whether China can catch up. The question is how fast and what happens when they do. Because once China has chips that can match or beat American performance, the entire global tech landscape shifts. Countries won't have to choose between Chinese and American technology based on quality. They'll choose based on price, politics and partnerships. And that changes everything. So here's where we are. China is pouring billions into chips and AI. Companies like Alibaba, Huawei and Cambrican are making real progress. DeepSeek proved that China can innovate efficiently. The gap is shrinking, even if it's not gone yet. One thing's for sure, this chip war is far from over. And the next five years are going to be absolutely wild. If this video opened your eyes to something you didn't know was happening, hit that subscribe button.